you said at the beginning, say your name, the wild room, and the first room because the fan was on, and now, and now I think it'll be so much better if I get you about that. And that's all I need. Okay. My name is Pat Smith, director of the Route 66 Museum in Clinton, Oklahoma. The first room that you enter here at the museum is what we call our wow room. And we want you to go wow when you enter because it is really exciting. We have a beautiful car on display and many artifacts to tease you before you ever start through the galleries. Then our first gallery is what we call our introduction room as you enter the museum doors. And in there, that room actually introduces you to Route 66. We have a map showing how Route 66 goes through the United States and a song playing, Get Your Kicks on Route 66. Then after you go into the other galleries, there are music playing in all of our exhibit rooms. I'm sorry, and do two. It was actually, it, it went, the, the thing ended when you were talking about the military. So do the 20s and the 30s. Explain those. Yes, and those, that won't be done. Okay. In the 1920s exhibit gallery, there became a need for a federal highway to connect our nation. So during this time period, Route 66 was developed and actually became a national highway in 1926. As you leave the 1920s room, you will go into the 1930s exhibit gallery. And in there, of course, what stands out in our mind is the rationing of food, or the food. <laughs> in the 1930s exhibit gallery, of course, the Dust Bowl days stand out in our mind. And the, the Great Depression, many people had to leave Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, and travel west to Arizona and California just to find work. So this room tells you the complete history of people traveling on Route 66 in the 1930s. Great, you're done. I hope that's okay. No, but Pat, it, 